Hello, hello, good morning, or I should say good afternoon. We're close to noon, I'm sure. I don't even know what time it is. It's somewhere around noon. So good morning, afternoon, slash afternoon, wherever we are. Um, I wanted to come to you today just to show you how to do a great base face with our foundation and concealer, and then uh, how to do your brows. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with brows, okay? So I've already done my one eyebrow here, so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you how to do your brow. So first what I like to do is take a little spoolie and just kind of brush your brow kind of up and over, okay? And then today I'm going to be using our brow palette. So what we're gonna start with, I'm using our Brow Artist brush. Um, and what I like to do is, I actually, I, I can't talk, I actually like to mix the two colors here. So I'm gonna go in and dab one and two, and then I go under and see how I'm using my pinky finger to kind of steady my, um, steady my brush. So I'm gonna start here and we're gonna work our way over. We're gonna line that underneath. I'm just gonna add a little bit more and just keep going. Okay, now we're gonna do the top. So what I'd like to do is I like to start about here, okay? And we're gonna just work our way over. Kind of small little strokes there, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to stop there and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go from here and we're gonna actually start here not where the arch is yet, okay, and we're leaving that to last, and I'm going to just bring that down, okay, be sure to end your brows here, okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to connect that two areas there, it's super easy, so we don't mess up that arch, and that's an easy way to do your brows, and then we're just going to fill the rest in, and I like to now use the lighter color to kind of fill that in. And doing your brows, you guys, really finishes that look off. I'm just going to flick up here. It frames your face. It actually um, gives your face an instant lift. I'm just going to fill that in. Oops, I got a little boo-boo there. And now we're going to just take that... Um, I'm going to use the, this brush here and we're going to just blend that all in just to give it a bit of a more natural look. Blend up and over. And then you can always go back in. If you've missed any spots, I'm just going to fill that in. Quick and easy, you guys. Easy peasy. Again, just blending that in. Okay, there we go. Eyebrow is done. Oh no, wait, we gotta go in with our wax and set set that in and just press those hairs down to make them stay in place all day long without moving. Love this. I love, love the wax. I've got longer eyebrows, so this really helps keep them in place all day long. And there we go. How easy was that? Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to do the face. So as you can see, I actually have like a bit of a rash here. Um, it's, I've actually got some prescription cream for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same color foundation as I'm going to use my concealer, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, cover up those areas with our concealer. And what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of the concealer on my hand and let it sit for a minute because it's going to kind of warm that concealer up on my hand just naturally. And then we're going to take our concealer brush and we're going to go ahead and just cover up any of that redness. So I got this stupid rash on my face, but it's finally going away. I got some prescription 
lotion and it's, I don't know what the heck it was, but anyways, we're clearing it up. I've got crazy sensitive skin, it's just ridiculous. The skin issues I have, like just not even on my face, my whole body drives me insane. So we're just gonna go ahead and just take that away. And what I'm gonna do in that area, I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm not gonna use my brush because um, I don't wanna contaminate my brush. So we're just gonna blend that in and just see how that just took that away. How incredible is that, right? And see how much product I still have left. Crazy. So we don't need that anymore because we're actually gonna use a lighter shade to go under the eyes. So now what we're going to do so we're going to do our foundation, okay? And I'm actually going to use a different brush today because I've seen some other presenters do this, so I'm going to try it out with you guys for the first time, and I'm using our powder concealer brush. So here we go. I'm using our liquid foundation, so I always make sure to give it a good shake before you start and go like this with the dropper too. Just kind of mixes it all in better. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply a little bit of that foundation onto that brush. And then we're gonna dab it in. Dab it in all over. Just blend that. Oh, I like this brush. And blend that in. Got comb around my nose right here. I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger because again I don't want to go over that area with my brush. Okay, and there we go. And just make sure you blend down into your neck. Love this foundation. Get under the eye. Wow, I like this brush. Woo! I have to start using this more okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and to do highlighting under your eyes you want to go a shade or two or three lighter than the um, your foundation color so I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Scarlet it's our lightest one and again I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand we're gonna let it warm up from my hand and we're gonna flip over and we're gonna use the other end of the brush the concealer end and I'm not going to use very much here like I'm just gonna gently kind of dab that in and then we're gonna do that triangle okay I haven't used this brush for concealer yet either so this is all new and oh yeah I like it baby this is good we do that triangle and then, so go in and do that area here first and then whatever's left over on that brush, you're just gonna go under here, okay? Oh, sorry guys, I just got a call. So again, we're just gonna go in that area here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna kind of dab Tap that in with my finger. Just blend that in. We're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. I still have quite a bit left here on my hand. Does not take much. We're gonna do that triangle. And this is just highlighting. Sorry, I just got another call. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just blend, do that triangle. And then again, whatever is left over, we're gonna bring that underneath, okay? And there we go. Ooh, I really like this brush, I have to tell you guys. As I said, this is my first time using this brush. Ooh, it works fantastic. And then again, you can kind of take it and blend that in with the other side there. Okay. Now when you do this, 
you can see that okay we now have a nice base face but there's no like um, depth or contour to that so we want to now bring that contour in and I'm going to be using um, our bronzer and our blush brush so we're gonna go ahead add that in there we're gonna blow out and where that when you blow out you get that line here we're gonna bring that down okay to the other side and you want to stop about middle of your eye okay that's where you want to stop that bronzer and then just kind of blend that in and then don't forget to go underneath that jawline and up top here I just used um, dry shampoo today. <laughs> Didn't feel like washing my hair. Anyhow, it's driving me crazy. The bangs are okay. Anyhow, move on. You guys, I move on. And what I've been loving instead of using blush, I've actually been using our um, powder luminizers, Touch a la Mode, in the color Lustrous. And how gorgeous is that? So we're going to go ahead and apply that to the apples of our cheeks and just watch. It's going to add that kind of shimmer. Can you see that? Oh, so pretty. You see that? Can you see that highlight? So pretty. And go down our nose and then I like to dab, dab my finger in there and add a little bit right here. Make that lip look a little bit fuller. Easy peasy. And what I like to do is I like to just take that brush and just blend that in. How easy was that? Now to finish this look off, I'm going to be using our um, Behold Setting Spray. Now if you have kind of more oilier skin, uh, what I would suggest is our Behold Finishing Powder. But I'm going to go ahead and use this. So you just give it a good shake and then just squirt it onto your face. And then it will dry and that makeup is not going anywhere. It's going to stay all day long, baby. Okay, and that is it, my friends. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Can you tell I have kids? <laughs> so that's it. Um, now the action words for today our, uh, our, our, uh, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart, guys. I need caffeine. I need caffeine. So the action words for today are foundation and brows. Okay. So if you're interested in any of those items, shoot the, shoot that comment below and I will send you a message and we will hook you up. So have a wonderful day. Um, what day is it today? Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday. It actually looks beautiful out there today. So have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, guys, don't forget, I'm always here to help you out. Okay. So have a wonderful day. And remember guys, thoughts become things. So make your thoughts incredible ones. Have a good day guys. Bye. Mwah.